America has just elected a fascist. And I don't use the word fascist lightly. What else would you call somebody who threatens to imprison his political opponents? What else would you call somebody who threatens to not allow people of a certain religious faith into their country? What would you say or how would you describe somebody who is threatening to deport 10 million people? Irish Senator Ann O'Riordan's impassioned speech against Donald Trump went viral after the election. O'Riordan went on to criticize Irish Prime Minister Edna, K Edna Kendi, Kenny, who, after previously calling Trump racist and dangerous, called to congratulate him on his victory. Trump will welcome Prime Minister Kenny to the White House on Thursday, which happens to be the same day that Trump's travel ban 2.0 goes into effect. Will it all be green ties and clovers, or will Kenny challenge Trump? on his immigration policies that could leave undocumented Irish immigrants living in the U.S. vulnerable to deportation. And joining me now is Irish Labor Party Senator Ann O'Riordan, who is in New York for Irish Stand, an anti-Trump protest rally on St. Patrick's Day. And sir, thank you very much for being here. It's great to be here. So you um, obviously came to be known to a lot of the American public um, for that, what we're calling a rant, but really just <laughs> an impassioned speech. Um, do you, at this point, take back one word of it, any of it? No, uh, not at all, and I feel more strongly about it now uh, than ever, particularly because the, the travel ban is coming in, as you say, on the very day that our Taoiseach, our Prime Minister, will be in the White House. And for us, and particularly for, for people of an Irish background, to see the number of Irish Americans who surround Trump, to us, I think they've completely forgotten their own heritage. Uh, their own history. The Irish story is one of immigration, it's one of seeking refuge, it's one of overcoming sectarianism. And all the negative stereotypes that are laid against communities in America now were once laid against us. Absolutely. So uh, I think any Irish American who celebrates St. Patrick's Day, but also supports the travel ban is somebody who's forgotten what it means uh, to be Irish. So on St. Patrick's Day we're, we're taking a stand, an Irish stand, and we're joining with every other community who feels fearful at this time in the Riverside Church in New York, an iconic place where Martin Luther King once made his famous uh, anti-Vietnam War speech. And we're standing together and there'll be many well-known people there, Sean King will be there, Gabriel Byrne will be there, Carl McCann the author will be there, Maeve Higgins the comedian. Lots of people join together to make that stand and to remind Irish America uh, that Ireland does not stand with this man and that Ireland's story is one of overcoming diversity and that if you feel fearful in, in America at this time, the Irish will stand with you. And one of the things that I think is, is one of the conceits of Americans who look at the issue of uh, undocumented migration is that everyone is from Mexico. But there are at least 50,000 undocumented Irish immigrants in this country who, in theory, are also subject to the same deportation rules being applied um, to Hispanic migrants, even though most people don't believe that they're the ones who uh, Steve Bannon had in mind. Well, yeah, I mean, there's 50,000 undocumented Irish uh, in America. Um, I suppose many people would feel that they're not necessarily uh, under the same threat because they come from a white European Christian background. And that's what's so troubling about, about the Trump regime, that they're trying to create maybe division between immigrants of different backgrounds. So while we're here and, and then the Kenny Artis will, 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 will try to uh, advocate on behalf of those undocumented Irish who are here and get them regularized, uh, to be honest, at this moment in time, the first St. Patrick's Day since, since Trump, ha Trump happened and since Brexit happened, which yeah, is much absolutely. closer to us uh, in, in, in Ireland, and that also had a very anti-immigration feel to that debate, mm -hmm. we feel it's important to, to, to speak for every immigrant anywhere because we're an immigrant nation. And what Mexicans are going through now or Muslim Americans are going through now or African Americans who feel, feel fearful, that's exactly what we went through in the past. I mean, there were, there were candidates from an Irish background who ran for the presidency in the States in 1928, Al Smith, JFK mm -hmm. obviously in 1960. They suffered from anti-Catholic sentiment. Absolutely. So, so when there's anti-Muslim sentiment or anti-Jewish sentiment that there is now, we've, we've been through that. And for the names that you've mentioned, the Irish names around Trump, not to understand that, well, as Daniel Connell famously said, the Irish leader of the 1800s, they've lost their Irish heart. Yeah, and it is interesting because we do forget history in this country, unfortunately, um, quite easily. But there was a time when the signs that used to say no blacks, no dogs, no Irish. Yeah. Uh, you know, Jewish people have been subject to it. Irish people have been subject to it. Every community in this country has cyclically gone through this othering. Why do you suppose um, that the U.S. sort of institutional memory is so short when it comes to some of these European communities? I don't know. I can't speak to that. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. 
I'm very much an outsider, and yeah. I'm, I'm sure if you, uh, some of your viewers are wondering why this guy from Ireland is coming over to to, to speak to to your political system here and what's and what's wrong with it. Um, that's something for for Americans sure. may, may, maybe to talk about. I think our responsibility as Irish people is to is to grab St. Patrick's Day back from that white nationalist viewpoint and to present it as a celebration of immigration. And if you're an Irish American who is celebrating St. Patrick's Day or any sort of American who's, who's celebrating St. Patrick's Day, you have to realize it's a celebration of an immigrant people here. And what the Irish went through in America is exactly what, as you say, Mexicans or yeah. Puerto Ricans or, or whoever else is going through now. It's the same fight. It's the same story. Yeah. And we have, I mean, we left Ireland to go to come here in coffin ships, which is exactly what Syrians are doing now. Yeah. Coffin ships that went to the bottom of the ocean because they're so rickety. That's exactly what Syrians are going through now. So, you know, that's why we feel so passionately about it, because it's a moment in history, and we can't let St. Patrick's Day just be a parade. It yeah. has to be a stand, and that's what we're doing on St. Patrick's Day. So let, let invite everyone uh, to this event. I'm going to give you one more chance to talk about who's uh, some of the other people that are going to be there. Where is it going to be one more time? The Riverside Church, which obviously it's, a, it's an iconic venue in Riverside Drive in, the, in, in New York. Uh, we have Gabriel Byrne, we have Sean King, we have Richard Schiff from the West Wing. We have um, Colin McCann, the novelist, a lot of African American speakers, uh, Jewish American speakers, Muslim American speakers. Please go on to irishstand.org and book your tickets. It's $15. All proceeds go to the ACLU. Thank you so much for being here. And it's a good reminder that the same sort of Bannonism, as we call it, or Breitbartism, is racing and coursing through Europe as well. It's not just a, an American yeah. phenomenon. Bannon is an Irish name. That's, yeah. that's, that's what's so depressing. <laughs> <laughs> did, 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 were you taken back with you? Yeah. Uh, thank you very much to Senator uh, Aon O'Riordan. Appreciate it. And coming. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.